because I feel like some of the greatest campaigns don't require a lot of money. It's really an investment of time, and it's really just being different and unique on the web. Big company mentality, first thing that you want to do is say, okay, I need a budget, which means you need to get that approved, which means you need to get some executives say, yes, it sounds like a great idea, even though you haven't done many other of these campaigns in the past. So it becomes this horrible cycle of, well, we'll give you money, yet the show us results, but you can't show results until you get money, you know, and so it just becomes this long, you know, long process. Um, and then also, a lot of companies you know, rely on the agencies, and I'm not hating on the agencies because they do great work, but the, the first kind of, men, you know, first thing that you think of when you're at a big company is, I have an agency, they'll be my creative arm, I'm going to give them some money, they'll figure it out for me. But really, you know, your employees, um, the developers, engineers, those are the people that understand your customer. They're the ones that really may have those ideas. So to get those ideas from the company first, figure out what sounds exciting, and then potentially taking that to the agency is, is a, an approach that I would be a little bit more excited about. Some quick examples from a startup perspective. There was a startup that I work with that did a Techie Tuesday hashtag giveaway. And basically, it was just trying to you know, accrue more developers on Twitter to, to join their community. Uh, it was a free giveaway because they, they had a strategic partnership with ThinkGeek who gave them two $100 gift certificates. And this Twitter handle, by the way, this, this startup that I work with, only had about 1,800, 2,000 followers. But within the first 24 hours of this giveaway, where you nominate someone that is a Techie Tuesday, someone that you would nominate, you and the nominee, if you get selected, actually win these gift certificates. Um, it received 1,200 retweets within 24 hours, which was amazing for any startup to get in that short amount of time. And the cost was completely zero. At Sun, we did a social media campaign at a conference called Java One. And the first year, I just bought a flip cam for 200 bucks and I went around and actually videotaped a lot of different people and their different perspectives and different languages. And it was a huge success. And there was someone at Sun who did the editing and there was really no cost besides the $200. It was such a, a, a successful campaign that the next year, we bought 20 flip cams at $200. We brought on a street team of employees, of campus ambassadors, students, and we said every day you upload three videos that are one minute long. We called them Java One Minutes, and at the end of it, you get to keep the camera. By the end of the week, four days, we received hundreds of videos and tens and thousands of views. And a lot of the people actually told us on our Facebook fan page and our Twitter that they felt like they were at that conference because of such a different perspective of uh, the conference. All right, I'm just about to wrap up. Um, the next thing that I want to highlight is timeline and results. The startup mentality is it has to be done yesterday. There's such a, an aggressive roadmap that things needed to have done, had to have been done yesterday. Marketing money for startup equals awareness and business development, which I think is very different for big companies, especially when you're starting off, because there's a big timeline for actually getting started and getting your community and feeling like you have to do all these things before you can start having strategic conversations. Um, but startups really work on campaigns and start tweaking them, tweaking them, tweaking them until they get that formula and they figure out what works for them. The big company mentality is you have to get approvals. Um, when things don't go right, there's a lot of finger pointing, well, I was relying on this person or this company, you know, this business unit. And it's not immediately tied to business goals. And I still feel like they're, even on day one, it could be tied to business goals. It doesn't necessarily mean sales. It can mean, you know, number of downloads for something, number of registrations for something, uh, the number of customer supports for something. Something quantifiable from day one, there can be metrics that you could measure across all these different channels. Um, and I'm not going to go over the examples, but one quick one is um, we actually hosted a, a radio channel um, on Blog Talk Radio. So we had four radio channels, and the hosts were empowered to actually host their show live weekly and built a very huge um, audience. And it generated significant results for us. All right, so that's my presentation. Hopefully you don't mind that I changed it from Sun Ecosystem to kind of what big companies can learn from startups. And hopefully those individuals that are at startups have learned a few new things. Um, if you have any questions, please tweet me or at the very end of this panel. Thank you.